Hey, good morning to you. I got some really good news. Jesus is still Lord. <clears throat> hey, the devil's utterly defeated. Thank God. Thank God. Hey, the word works. Going to be the last one on this series, and I'm going to let Pat teach for several days. Offering the sacrifice of praise. This is what the Bible says. That we are to therefore offer the sacrifice of praise, which is the fruit of our lips. It's referred to as a sacrifice because sometimes I just want to gripe. Sometimes I just want to complain. I mean, you know, I see things makes me mad. Somebody driving down the road cuts me off, makes me mad. And I want to, I want to complain about that rather than be thankful I got a car, be thankful that I'm driving, be thankful that I'm in divine health, be thankful that I got a full tank of gas. I mean, there's so much to be thankful for. But what's this? Sometimes it's a sacrifice, but you, it's, it becomes a lot easier when you realize that the Bible says they were destroyed in the wilderness by the destroyer because of their murmuring, because of their complaining, their griping. Then that opened the door to the devil to destroy them. Well, then when you begin to realize as we offer the sacrifice of play, praise, that opens the door for all of those things I've been talking to you about, about the blessings of God. <clears throat> Listen, go to Deuteronomy 28. Pat and I do this all the time. But I'm amazed at how many people don't realize what they're redeemed from. Deuteronomy 28, starting in verse 16, going down through verse 60, it lists about everything that you can imagine that you're redeemed from after you've made Jesus the Lord of your life. Because it says in Galatians chapter 3, that Christ hath redeemed us from the curse. Woo! Hallelujah. Now the curse basically threefold. Uh, it's sickness and death and poverty. We've been redeemed from that and all that has to do with that. And if you've made Jesus the Lord of your life, you're redeemed. Why? you got so much to be thankful for. And watch this. You know, there's another group of people coming up from Honduras wanting to cross into our country. And, you know, I, I watch too much news sometimes. If this country wasn't so good, why is it that all of these people from all over the world are doing everything they can to get here? We're blessed. The poorest people in this country is more, more better off, gooder, whatever, than the rest of the whole world. We are so blessed. And God's blessing our land, and we're seeing a complete turnaround uh, you know, in the last couple of years. And I believe we're going to see more blessings and good things happen in our country. So we've got so much to be thankful for. So quit complaining, quit complaining, and offer the sacrifice. And when you feel like, I really won't, don't want to praise God, hey, that's the time to praise God and let God move into your life and get you a lot of blessings. Hey, i got to go, saints. I'm on a date taking my wife out to breakfast again this morning. So blessed. Still got the most wonderful, beautiful, cute thing that I've ever had since high school. Hey, you have a good day. Remember all day it works. The word works. Praise God. Be grateful. Be thankful. And until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day. Hey, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.